Hello YouTube, um, this is Leopard Gecko Lover 3 with, uh, I'm gonna make a video of how to make a leopard gecko enclosure. Um, <clears throat> what you would want to start off with is with a vivarium. Right here I have a 20 gallon long. Um, yeah, and, uh, it would, this, uh, 20 gallon long could be able to, um, fit, uh, up to four or four geckos, um, four, yeah, four leopard geckos, um, completely fine and everything, so, you want to start with, uh, some substrate, so, I have reptile carpet, it's really, I like reptile carpet because it's easy to clean, and it's not that hard to, it's not hard to clean, it's easy to clean, every two weeks, just wet it, let it soak, um, then you put it out in the rain, um, in the sun, let it dry off, but yeah, just wash it off, there's a lot of poop on it and stuff, so, yeah, um, the first thing you're gonna want is grab your hide, there he is, and put it in a, a corner or in the middle or everything, oh, oh, don't run away, boy, um, humidity box, humidity, or shedding box, or whatever, just grab a small container, cut a hole into it, put a, a, um, what do you call it, uh, tissue or moss or anything in it, and spray it every, every day, put it right there, um, calcium bowl, wait, 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 my leopard gecko is going crazy, okay, calcium bowl, put it away, not that far, but don't put it close to the heat. And your water bowl. Your calcium bowl should have water in it. I mean, your calcium bowl should have calcium every, at, at all the times, 20, um, 24-7. That way, you can make sure that your leopard gecko is getting good calcium. Um, water dish. Um, put it as far as you can away from your water source. And food. So we are done. Oh yeah. Do you want to add any logs or anything to so for climbing or whatever? Just put that right here. There you go. And last but least, your leopard gecko. Uh, wait. Let me get him. Hmm. Come on, boy. Okay. And that is how you set up a leopard gecko enclosure. Subscribe and thank you.